people that if I show them a picture of a snake on my phone, they're like physically react. They hate them. Take that same person and you handle a snake in front of them. You let them see it. And you're like, oh, wow, look at that little tiny shoestring of an animal. And then I say, well, when you're ready, sit down next to me. Very slow, very slow. You know, the snake will move quickly and go, see, the snake got scared because of you. You're the big animal. Put your hands up. I'm just going to touch you with the snake. Just a breath. And they go, oh, shit, it's not slimy. <laughs> Gift your listeners with this amazing piece of content when you eventually come to the Amazon. Something happens when people don't like snakes. What What's happening is, is that they don't understand snakes. And so they've, what I do is I ask the person to sit. And I've done this with hundreds of people. You know, you put your hands out. And most, some, I've had everything on the spectrum from people who, if they even see a snake, they will start crying. People that if I show them a picture of a snake on my phone, they're like, they, they physically react. They hate them. Take that same person and you handle a snake in front of them. You let them see it. And you're like, oh, wow, look at that little tiny shoestring of an animal that can't defend itself against even a blue jay. And you're like, oh, he's harmless. And you're like, yeah, this is a little grass snake. Like, it's okay. You could kill it with your thumb. And then I say, well, when you're ready, sit down next to me. Very slow, very slow. And they see the snake. And then I, you know, the snake will move quickly and I'll go, see, the snake got scared because of you. You're the big animal. Okay. And I go, put your hands out. I'm just going to touch you with the snake, just just a breath. And they go, oh, shit, it's not, it's not slimy. No, it's not slimy. It's like all marble scales. So it's dry. Whoa. And then they like finger on the tail. And then pretty soon that same person is like holding a boa constrictor three days later. And they're like, I love snakes. They, it's literally because they've never met one. And I I've do met this. a few. Doesn't end well for them. <laughs> yeah, but, but they're. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's all the right, one so kind of animal. I mean. <laughs> Fuck this. It's Fuck the, this, all right? The one... <laughs> it's the, you, the, don't let the New York come out. But it's the one kind of animal that I'm always like, you know, someone marks a snake. I'm like, okay. No, 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 no. We're going to bring you around. And rats We're going to bring you around. This is going to be a beautiful yeah, story. All right, rats. I like that snakes eat rats. I do like that. They See, specialize that's, in That's a win. Yeah. That's a yep. win. We could, we could use a few snakes down, down by the yep. river right there. Yep. Um, so no, so JJ, JJ knew, it seemed like everything about the jungle, medicinal plants, how to track animals, where to find everything, a whole lifetime of jungle knowledge. And then, you know, if you're out with loggers, they see a snake, they go, Bibra, kill it. <laughs> Fucking guys, you just, you cut a little snail eating snake in half. And they're like, it was a venomous one. And I'm like, no, it's not. And they're like, yeah, all the, all the brown and red ones are venomous. And I'm like, you can't identify snakes. Like uh, you could have a timber rattlesnake that's black or yellow. Mm. You can't identify snakes based on color. Ever. Not really, no. How'd you identify mine then? That could have been a poisonous man-eating fucking snake and you would have been like, oh, it's That was harmless. one of my childhood friends. Black, r- black rat snakes are one of the coolest snakes we have. Yeah, he didn't look friendly. Um, he's a sweetheart just trying to get a tan and you're over here complaining about him. It's going to get heated. It's gonna get fucking heat. Okay, keep going. I'm, I'm, um, gonna, I'm open. No. I'm open to conversion. But uh, no. So then, yeah. So I started catching tree boas and things, and started showing him what the difference was with snakes. Like, how do you tell the difference? And until you have a snake in front of you, until you start looking at the scales, and the shape of the head, and the the shape of the body, it's very difficult to explain it. It's 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 very fun. The only way I can give an analogy is like, we know the difference with cars. You know, like a, a, a jeep, a taxi, a sedan, a, a a truck, yes. da, 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 a pickup truck, like a bus. We're all like, that's pretty easy. Well, no matter what color it is, we know the shape of those things. And so for anyone that knows snakes, it's pretty easy to spot an elapid, which is like the coral snakes and the cobras, or a constrictor, like an anaconda or a python. It's like you start to be able to go, okay, I get it. And then, you know, if I'm at 90%, recently we were somewhere and I, somebody goes, viper. And I said, where? Get this little thing by the tail, super careful. You know, I'm like, let me see the head. No, nope, that's not a viper. It's some sort of cat-eyed snake. And then I'm like, okay, this snake is- A but cat-eyed snake? Cat-eyed snake. It's just a, just a small species of non-venomous nocturnal snake that eats like frogs and lizards. Completely harmless hmm. to us. But most people in the field, I do this all the time. I go, is this snake venomous? And people are like, yep. No. And then a lot of times what happens is people see me handling snakes and they go- I just had this happen um, where people see me handling snakes and then they go, oh, so you can just handle snakes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You pick up the wrong snake and you die. Right. And so, I'm shocked that hasn't happened to you. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually very, very careful with venomous snakes. Venomous snakes, very careful. 
I mean, the Amazon, we have Bushmasters, which is... Can we pull that up? Bushmasters pull up. in the Amazon? Pull Actually, up a video of them? If you don't mind, put my name after that. See if it, like, put, like, Bushmaster Paul Rose. It might might actually just show a picture of me. Go to images. There might just be a picture of me holding a Bushmaster. Uh, Is that it? Uh, t- second from the right top. Right there. That's, That's a, a Bushmaster. Bushmaster. That's a fucking Bushmaster. Is that, like, a full-sized one? That is a full-sized 11-foot-long Bushmaster. Oh, that That's nice. The scientific name of that snake. is. What are you holding it with? Uh, I actually have a snake hook, but you see it bending. Come on. I'd be be shitting myself. You see how much I'm sweating? You see this? That's sweat. I didn't jump in a river. That's sweat. Yeah, but you've already made the mistake of being here. That's the problem. (laughs) So it's bending around. Like, how fast is this thing? Like, how does it Uh, attack? A bite? Uh, yeah, I mean that that snake in the daytime bushmasters are incredibly lethargic. They're mostly nocturnal. So, as I'm handling that in the daytime, um, I was actually relocating that snake and just trying to put it down. Now, in this moment, what I did not know about bushmasters is that they actually have a barb on their tail, like a nail. No snake that I know about has this. So, as I'm holding the snake, I have the tail. Right hand is safe. Left hand has the snake hook. And I'm like, okay, the head is over there. And I'm like, I'm safe. You know what I mean? You're, you're constantly watching this thing's head because you're like, if this turns around, I die. And all of a sudden, I feel something stab into oh me and break the skin. And it's using the, the that barb on its tail. And of course, all you're thinking is don't get pinched. Don't get envenomated. Well, don't now. get bitten up. Immediately. That's where all that sweat came from because I had this full-scale systemic panic attack because I thought somehow – my body thought envenomated. We've been envenomated. And it's been just what? Envenomated. Like they they got you. Like when they bite you, there's two syringe teeth. Envenomated? And the act of becoming – of venom entering your skin. use that word. I like that. Envenomated. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good one. Um, luckily, I was not envenomated because that snake, the Latin name is literally – Death, death, lachesis, muta, muta. Um, how and, many? How many of them have, are in the Amazon? They're everywhere, and they have they have. <laughs> <laughs> it's lousy. I can hear with Jim them. DiOrio right now, like I'm out. <laughs> it, where this is not happening. 